in a couple of series here of uh, videos on tweaking your jailbroken iDevice. Uh, this would be either your iPhone, iPod, iPad. Um, I, I really, you know, I'm going to do a couple in a series I think that will complement one another hand in hand. Uh, they're not like, wow, show me tweaks, but they're tweaks that uh, are, they're going to pay for themselves. Some of them are free, some of them will cost some money, but uh, they're, they're going to be things that you're like, wow, this is really something that I really wished I had. Um, things that you have come across and you're like, ah, oh, man, I wish I could do that with a, with a locked device. And with an unlocked device, these are just some really good tweaks that uh, I think are must-have tweaks and things that you just can't live without. And the first one we're going to do, um, this is just, like I said, you have to have a jailbroken device. So if you don't, you can stop watching now. Um, or go find the video on how to jailbreak and come back. Um, the first one we're going to do is Safari Download Manager. And this is in the Cydia store. So if you launch your Cydia app from your main screen, come in here. You'll do a search. And I just typed in Safari. And there's Safari Download Manager right there. So I'm just going to select it. Uh, this is a standard repo in the Cydia store. It is Big Boss. So if I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see it says Big Boss down there at the bottom. So you don't have to install a, a source or anything like that. This is just uh, out of the box um, or out of the jailbreak uh, repo store that is available there. Uh, this does cost $5. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but uh, in the end, it's really, really worth it. And uh, the next video I'm going to do, you're going to get $2 off that app that I, I think is $4 normally, so you're going to just get $2 for that app uh, because it'll apply a discount from purchasing this one. Uh, they really work hand in hand, that's why uh, there's a discount in it. Um, so anyway, without ado, you can see I've already purchased Safari Download Manager. It says it's officially purchased, so let's go ahead and launch our Safari uh, and uh, you know. I don't think this has a trial version. You're just going to have to purchase it and install it um, from the Cydia store. And there would be an install uh, button where it says modify. And uh, you would go through with the purchase and then install it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and mon mon minimize that. And we're going to launch Safari. And you can immediately see um, down at the bottom in my menu bar I have an extra icon. Um, and that is like a download I, and if I'll, I'll go ahead and click it right here and it has a download history uh, so what this is going to allow you to do is actually do downloads through Safari and save them to your device anywhere in the file system that you want you can create folders save them in there uh, through this so it really gives you that file manipulation that Apple doesn't want you to have um, and that that's one of the biggest pet peeves I had with any iDevice is file manipulation. If I want to go get a file on the internet, I should be able to go get a file on the internet. And there are some apps that have little workarounds. They'll create their own little file space. You can download it to their file space and then, well, you're basically stuck. Unless maybe you can get it to your Dropbox. There's probably no way to email it at that point. You can just probably put it in the cloud. Um, so this, this isn't really going to give you a way to share it anywhere per se uh, but it is going to let you get it anywhere on the device you want to put it so let's go ahead and I'll run through the process here um, let's go back a page and uh, I'm on like a coolrom.com which is for ROMs for uh, emulators but uh, so now I'm looking at Super Nintendo ROMs and say I want to get Super Mario Kart so I click on it and I can come down to where it actually says download now and, uh, you know, this would work on any website that has downloads. You know, if I wanted to go get putty.exe from putty.org, uh, I could download the executable to my iPhone and put it wherever I wanted. So let's just go ahead and click download now. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you an option. You can see it's a zip archive up at the top. And the destination, so you just click the destination. And it basically lets you browse um, where you want to put these files. And this is a... Super Nintendo ROM, so I'm actually there, but I could browse out a little bit. You can just keep going back out through your file structure. You could hit the plus sign up here in the top right to create a new folder. Um, 
I'll just click it and you can see the new folder name we can just cancel but I'm gonna put it in the Super Nintendo and I'm just gonna say choose so our destination is documents slash ROMs and there's a little bit prior to that in the path but and I'm just gonna say download and it was really quick but if you come here you can see the status of it downloading uh, it was a really small file, so it finished real quick, but there you can see is Super Mario Kart zip, and it's in Documents, ROMs, Super Nintendo, and then the size of it, and that uh, it is a zip file. So you can come in here and look at your history. Um, that really is the tweak, and you're probably saying, ah, that's not a whole lot for $5, but I don't know how many times I have wanted to download a file off the internet um, to my phone and I have to go to the computer instead laptop instead try to download it there um, so this this is like a huge win for me and one that I think is an essential tweak to have and it's not one you're gonna show your friends like oh wow, look at this cool tweak no it's just one you're gonna use um, and you know you may not even think oh, I don't need that but then you'll be on the internet surfing and you'll be like oh man I really wish I had a way to download off the internet because you know, said there's not that many apps out there that'll let you do a very good job of it and this one does and the next video I'm gonna do is going to allow you to manipulate this file even more you've got it to your phone now what can I do with it I need to get it to somebody uh, I need to email it out um, I need to put it in the cloud uh, I need to FTP it to an FTP site etc 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 the next video is for you it's going to be a file that is going to or an app that's going to complement this baby like you wouldn't believe so anyway I hope you enjoyed this uh, like I said I'm just going to do a couple in this series of some jailbreaking tweaks um, and uh, if you like it give me a thumbs up and I'll do some more jailbreak video tweaks and um, you know if, if it's something you guys like then I'll, I'll keep doing them but uh, I'm not going to quit doing like the gadget unboxings and stuff like that I'm just kind of throwing in a little variety here so uh, subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. That'll help me a lot. And I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks, guys.